Hey guys, Wasrick here to do a little bit more of a, of a basic video here. Today I'm going to review my Czechoslovakian M60 black leather combat boots. Had these for a while, I actually got these from a company called Hessian Antique for a steal. And just super excited about them. Had to put some work into them, but definitely worth the price. I got these for about 43 bucks shipped. Now, why I have these boots is um, I have my Czechoslovakian stuff, I have my needle camo and all that, but I got these as a stand-in for Serbian, or excuse me, Yugoslavian M77 boots, which have the, the buckles here, but those boots are really expensive to get, and the European sizing is kind of funny, so I didn't want to get a very expensive pair of boots from Serbia only for them to not fit. And then it would only be for a couple of uh, loadouts that I could use, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these boots. So these are kind of unusual in that they're like regular combat boots, but they have these um, buckles on top. Let me go ahead and see if I can undo that there. All right, there we go. That's with the uh, the top parts undone, the buckles undone. As you can see, it's more like a like a low combat boot or shoe and then it's got the upper part which is pretty nice now so it's got your your standard lacing system and then I personally think that uh, the way that these are designed and made with these uh, leather pieces up top and the buckles is really awesome these are with the buckles and everything the upper part these are tall 10 inch boots so you've got a lot of ankle support and then the way that these buckles are designed is they function exactly like gaiters so they give you a lot of ankle support and then they keep stuff from getting in your boots so it's just an awesome awesome feature now unfortunately I guess the uh, the checks didn't think the buckles were a very good feature as they deleted it off of their M90 combat boot which is a similar but it's more like a tr uh, traditional combat boot. It does not have these upper gator type pieces with the buckles. And I personally love, 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 love this feature as it gives a very secure fit around the ankle. Lots of support like wearing gaiters. Now if you guys are wondering why I have the wine bottles in here, it's uh, trying to save money. Instead of buying uh, boot trees or shoe trees, I have wine bottles in here. And then I've got the toes stuffed with plastic bags. So now a way that you can tell these are not the Yugoslavian M77 boots is by the sole. It's got this um, unusual style sole with like kind of like crisscross a little bit. The traditional sole, it's, as you can see it's, it looks like there's nails in there. And up at the top now, these, I have to say, these are used boots. And the condition of the sole is absolutely outstanding. Looks like these have seen very light use. The uh, tread is pretty much 100% intact on this one. And then the other one as well. Again, uh, very seemingly very lightly used. And these boots could probably be almost 60 years old, so in pretty good shape. Now I did have to put uh, some work in these, into these because when I got them uh, they weren't as bad as I thought. I'd been reading reviews on these types of boots for months from different sites. Heard a lot of horror stories about the boots being worn out falling apart. The only problem that I encountered was the leather was and still is to a, to a little bit. Um, it was extremely stiff so I had to do several regiments of uh, kiwi leather cream to soften these guys up because they were they were super super stiff I mean this is genuine leather but I guess just after decades or just even a few years they had dried out so many many applications of kiwi the the leather cream which I use on all my boots I use them on my jack boots and my jungle boots and they eventually soften up. They're still a little bit stiff, but given how old these could potentially be, um, that's to be expected. So, 
Yeah, so especially when they uh, the wrinkles got really, really stiff, so maybe they need to be rebroken in. I'm just making do with them for right now. Again, these are at this point more of like a costume boot for me than a practical boot, unless I can really, really soften up the leather. But these are fantastic boots. You can't beat them for the price, you know, 43 bucks for genuine leather boots, not uh, crappy Chinese Rothko stuff. I mean, just you can't beat it. I mean, they will take some work to make them usable. But at least in my experience, Hessen Antique will send you a, a good pair of boots. So just making a, a basic video here. Uh, maybe if I do a range video with all my Serbian stuff, uh, these boots will make an appearance in that. So just making a relatively quick yet basic video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.